our ship was attacked. Everyone lost. This must get to King Arthur. It must get to Camelot. This King Hugo who sent the message claims that a barbarian army gathers to attack his castle. But look here, Your Majesty. He calls himself Lord of the Misty Isles. The Misty Isles? Does such a place really exist, my lord? I thought the Isles were merely a legend, a place we spoke of as children, home to sea serpents and, and other strange beasts. The Isles are real enough, and just as dismal as the king who rules them. I would have thought Hugo would surrender his kingdom before asking my help. The man detests me. How so, my lord? When I first became king, he raised an army and attempted to take my throne. He failed. As punishment, I banished him to the Misty Isles. And now he has the impudence to come begging for your help. Yes, and I intend to grant it. But your majesty, this man was your enemy. All the more reason to help. Sometimes the most valuable alliances a king can form are with those who were once enemies. Valiant, you're a most seaworthy knight. I want you to take 100 of our finest men to the Misty Isles and help King Hugo defend against these barbarians. The way to the Misty Isles is both long and treacherous. Valiant, this place to which you will travel is like no other on God's earth. Is it urgent? Here it would seem so, my lord. What manner of beast? I've never seen a creature so foul, nor smelled one! He'll have quite a headache, I should think. Land! There's land ahead! We've reached it at last, my friends. The Misty Isle. Telling what other wretched beast might call this place home.
lovely country, isn't it? it? Reminds me of a place I once called home. Perhaps we're too late. It sounds as if King Hugo's battle has begun without us. No. By the sound of it, it's no more than a skirmish among a handful of men. Stand ready with the troops, Arn. Rowan and I will have a look. This I can handle, so long as the combatants are human. There they are. Looks like a barbarian scouting party surprised that poor fellow. Five against one, hardly a fair fight. Shouldn't we help him? <laughs> For the moment, it doesn't look as if he needs our help. Stay your blade, barbarian. Try me, sir. You fought well, my good man. But you'll have better luck next time if you keep your blade centered. Here, allow me to help you up. I don't need your help, nor your advice. I could have beaten them easily without your interference. What are you smiling at? Well, haven't you a tongue? Just who are you, anyway? Answer me, boy. Hold your tongue! How dare you address Prince Valiant, Knight of Camelot, in such a manner? Did you say Camelot? Yes, my lady. I am a knight of the round table. Now put away that sword and be on your way. Go tell your king that the reinforcements he requested from Camelot have arrived. Ride now, while you still can. An ungrateful witch, wasn't she? I think she's... <laughs> incredible. I wonder who she is. Incredible? <sighs> he must be losing his mind. I am Valerius, court chamberlain to King Hugo. You are awaited in the throne room, Prince Valiant. If you will follow me. Just as you graciously requested, Rohan, I see we've been announced by our new friend. Friend? This woman could well have killed you. King Hugo's daughter, Princess Alita, will receive you. Why are we to be met by the king's daughter and not by the king himself? King Hugo has been gravely ill. Princess Alita has taken it upon herself to act in his stead. It was she who summoned you. And without his consent, I might add. It's her. Who? Never mind. Your Highness. Still smiling, I see. You certainly are a happy fellow, aren't you? <laughs> I am, when faced with such beauty as your own. Oh, this I don't believe. What's going on? You and your army have been invited here for one purpose, to assist my own able warriors. You will fight only when and if I command it. Furthermore, while you are a guest in my kingdom, I expect you to keep your people out of the way and under control. Is that clear? No, Princess. It is not. My men and I did not fight our way across a miserable sea so that we could sit on our swords. You will sit when and where I tell you to sit. I am a knight of the round table, and I take my orders from King Arthur of Camelot and no one else. You understand. So you have a tongue after all. 
I think I liked you better as a mute. Who let this vermin in? Get them out! I want them out! <laughs> Who is this ranting fool? My father. It's not enough that I have barbarians outside my walls. Now I find that the army of my oldest enemy has been invited into my own home by my own daughter! King Arthur was our only hope. No one else would answer our call for help, father. This army has come to help us defend against the barbarians. I will not take Arthur's charity. We can fend for ourselves. By morning, I want this Camelot scum back on their boat and away from my shores. If that is your wish, your majesty, my lady. Father, you cannot endanger the people of this kingdom for the sake of your own blind hate. Let go of the past, Father. Let go before it dooms us all. <clears throat> this has got to be the coldest, dampest, most miserable country I ever made camp in. Almost as miserable as the king who rules it. The sooner we're done with this place, the happier I'll be. Valiant! Come and warm yourself by the fire. Um, Valiant? It's no use, Roland. He doesn't hear you. He hasn't responded to anything since we left King Hugo's castle. For the life of me, I don't understand why Valiant is so preoccupied with such a sour old monarch. I don't think it's the king who has captured Valiant's imagination, Arn. Those fires will be out come first light, and Camelot's men will leave on the morning tide. They will be gone forever. What's that, my dear? Nothing, Mora. I was just thinking aloud. Mora, have you... Have you ever been married? Married? No, child. But I was in love once. He was a young man from my village. But that was many years ago. Where is he now? I don't know. I left him to come here to the Isles, and I never saw him again. The feeling, being in love, what was it like? Oh, quite wonderful, and yet somehow painful as well. I remember I couldn't sleep, couldn't eat. I couldn't do anything but think of him. Yes, I know. Good night, my lady. Good night, Mora. I'll never see him again. Oh, Valiant. The barbarians number far more than we imagined. I fear what will happen, sire. I don't care if their numbers go tenfold. I've survived this long and I'll go right on surviving without help from Arthur or anyone else. But, sire, don't you think it would be wise if we... Not another word! I've made my decision. As you wish, sire. Princess Alita, I must speak with Prince Valiant. Commander. Go away. I wish to be left alone. Begging your pardon, my lord. There's someone to see you. Oh, this had better be important, Ra Princess Alita. Um, thank you, guard. You can go now. I've come to apologize and to to thank you for your help this morning. Will you walk with me a moment, Prince Valiant? Of course. Um, we can go this way. Never mind. Go to sleep. 
I had no right to speak to you the way I did this morning. I can be impetuous at times, and my father tells me I have a temper. Really? <laughs> I hadn't noticed. <laughs> The Misty Isles are not the most hospitable place in this world. But there is great beauty to be found here, if you look for it. In Camelot, great beauty is something to be cherished. You would be most welcome there, Alita. My father would never allow it. He detests King Arthur and anyone who calls Camelot home. Then, I suppose after tonight, we shall never see each other again. Valiant, I didn't come here just to apologize. Truth is, I wanted to see you again. I couldn't let you go without saying goodbye and telling you that, that... Telling me what, Alita? Just this. can't hold much longer, sire. And with their greater numbers, once the barbarians are inside the walls, I fear... Oh, don't let them in! We need archers! This way! The battle does not go well for my people, Valiant. Don't worry. Barbarians are savage fighters, but they're an undisciplined lot. If we drive a wedge into them, they just might panic and run. Arn! I want you to take half the men and attack from those woods. On my command! Understood! Justin! Randon! Gather your men and come with me! For the Misty Isles and Camelot! Sire, look! An army of men attacks the barbarians from the forest. Who are they? Where do they come from? Camelot, sire. They come from Camelot. <laughs> begging my king's pardon, but I should think they could use some help. But what the bases are you waiting for, Chamberlain? Let's get our people out there! As you command, sire. As you command. It seems they've lost their taste for fighting. Stay your swords, men of Camelot! The battle is won! Valiant! Prince Valiant, I made it clear that you were not to return to this castle. You disobeyed me. And for that, I am eternally grateful. You and your courageous men are owed an apology and a great debt of thanks. Will you accept it? I will, Your Majesty. But only on behalf of a man more deserving than I, King Arthur of Camelot. <sighs> then... so be it. <laughs> Thank you for your help in repairing our ship. I only wish we could do more. If that is true, Your Majesty, then I would ask yet another favor of you. If it is within my power, Valiant, it is yours. I would ask that someday, soon, you and your daughter will come to visit us in Camelot. I would like that very much, Father. Tell Arthur that if I am invited, I will come. 
to offer my thanks and to forge a peace that has been long overdue. I will tell him, Your Majesty. With great pleasure, I will tell him. Goodbye, Alida. Farewell, Valiant. Until next we meet. those barbarians. We won! We may have won the battle, Arn, but I fear a war has begun. One that I'm afraid cannot be stopped with a sword.